And hello again, this is John Lundquist of Paladin Academy, and this is lesson uh, 2-1, Algebra 2, Solving One Step Equations. And remember that equations are like a teeter-totter that's in balance. So an equation is a balanced system. And so to maintain a balance, you either remove the same weight from both sides or you add the same weight to sides in order to maintain the balance. Um, it's the one, one of the techniques in uh, solving equation is canceling. And canceling is either you make a number zero or you make a number one. And this right here, I'm going to do both here. Um, and so we want it. We want to get x by itself. So I guess, I guess we have. We can say the goal is to get x or or the variable by itself, by itself on one side. That means I got to go after the two and the five. These two numbers, I'm going to cancel. I'm going to cancel the 2 by making it 0, and I'm going to cancel the 5 by making it 1. <clears throat> the reason I make the 5 1 is because I get 1 times x. If I made the 5 0, I'd lose my x because I'd have 0 times x, <clears throat> which would make 0. Okay, so what I want to do then is remember. Remember that adding, so adding and subtracting go together. They're opposites. Subtracting. Adding and subtracting are, are opposites. And um, multiplying and dividing are opposites. So I am going to go after the add first. You kind of go after the farthest away number first. The, the 2 is farther away from the 5. And it's added. So you want to get rid of the adding and subtracting first. So I'm going to minus 2 both sides. Okay, I minus 2 from both sides. I get 5x equals 20. The This becomes 0. Right? And that's the one. Uh, this is that one. 3 Three. This is the property of we call it the additive inverse property. Three plus a minus three plus a minus three is zero, whereas three divided by three is one. So I want to make this five a one. I want to I want to get one x equals something. Well, the way I do it is I divide the five x. So I, I really I'm going to go over here five x equals 20. I'm going to divide by 5. Both sides. I have to do, if I want to do it to one side, the teeter-totter effect. And that cancels. It becomes a 1. I get 1x equals 4. So I get 1x equals 4, which is the same as x equals 4. Same as x equals 4. Okay. So I'm just going to do some uh, these problems and that should be it. That should do it. Because I got an example of an adding, I got a subtraction, a multiply, a divide, then I got a couple negative numbers in here. It's just to do negatives. So quick. This is pretty quick stuff. So adding 12, what do you do? Well I subtract 12. I subtract 12 from both sides. Whoops. Subtract 12 from both sides. 0. And x equals 6. Done. One step. Over here, I have a subtract 9 from the m. I go after the 9. I add 9 to both sides. I get m equals 14. Okay. Here, I have a multiply. I have a 4m equals 12. 
Now you can just think about it. What number of times, what number did I put in here to equal 12? Four, three, right? So, but then algebra, we just, we go by a method. I want to can't, I want to make this one. So I get m equals three. Now in this case, I have a divide. This is n divided by six. This is a divide by. So what do I do? I multiply. I multiply by six over one. The reason I multiply by six over one is I have to. I want the the six on the top. So I really have six on both sides. And this this becomes one. It's really n times, you could say n times 6, because multiplication is commutative. I can switch these. I can put it like this. And this is 1. So I get minus 24 equals n. Now here I'm going to add 6 to both sides. And when I add 6, this becomes x. And I can have the x on the right if I want. doesn't make any difference. And this becomes 6 minus 5. Or 6 pluses and 5 never get negatives added together. And we get 1. And by the what we call the reflexive property, if x 1 equals x and x equals 1. I mean that's this it's called the reflexive property. I don't like the way it puts things together. Then finally, this one. Multiply, I'm going to divide. 5 by negative 3, divide by negative 3. And I have a negative divided by a negative is the same as a positive. So a negative times a negative is a positive. And a negative divided by a negative is also a positive. Same rule applies for multiplication and division. Two negatives make a positive. Whereas in adding, it's not the same. Negative 3 plus negative 3 is not positive 3, it's, it's negative 6. Very important. Adding and multiplying different things. Adding, you're adding magnitudes. You're adding 3 negatives plus another 3 negatives. You're going to get six, neg 6 negatives. Multiplying is different. Multiplying is like reversing course when you're multiplying. Going one way and then reversing course and going the other way. Okay, so this becomes positive p equals two negatives, make a positive, three goes into 15 five times. And that's it. That's the lesson. So have fun.